I recently gained a ton of inspiration for building a rail system in Minecraft after watching a really dope video on ice highway infrastructure. Over the last year, we have enriched our Minecraft server through high-speed rail. The idea of a large-scale overworld vanity infrastructure project is really cool, and I want to build one with my friends on our own server. But I don't want to do it with ice, I want to do it with rails. I had kind of disregarded the idea of a large-scale rail system because of the inadequacies of minecarts as a whole. But with Snapshot 24W33A releasing a game rule that allows players to increase the max speed of a minecart, large-scale rail networks could genuinely be a viable form of transportation. And I think that would be really, really cool. This video serves as a record of my progress towards learning the redstone necessary to build a rail transit network in Minecraft. Above all else, I first wanted to design a station with the ability to select a destination. Although I really can't remember why, I was and still am under the impression that a T flip-flop is the only way to get this to work. And so that's what I have built here. I ripped this design off the internet and I'm trying to get it to do what I want it to do. The first issue that I ran into was that the selector would work, but uh, if I wanted to be able to s click the same station twice, I needed to have the blocks go back down. So I'm currently trying to wire a circuit that, with the pistons on the top, that will push the selections back down before every click of a button. Here I have realized, wait a minute, I think observers do what I want to do, because they detect the state change, and I, I, I need that. And then I, here I realize, that's actually not what I want, because it detects state change of an object, and there's two state changes in redstone when it's powered and then depowered. And what it's doing is it's causing the pistons on top to stay on too long, so that when you click a button, no selection is made at all. I started experimenting with trying to use observers, but block the second tick of the observer by, I guess, uh, I think it's a one tick? I'm making this piston move out of the way so that only one tick goes through. So the piston moves out of the way on the second tick so that the four pistons in the back only go down once. And that worked, but it was really bad. It looked really ugly, so later I change it. Oh my god. <laughs> Something I made works. This looks like shit. <laughs> okay. Here I'm trying to find a way to light up redstone lamps when a particular selection is made. Um, okay, so I guess I'll, I should explain my thought process before it breaks itself. I want, uh, uh, when these blocks are up, to output a signal to power these guys. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say, well, if I move an inventory and I can detect if that if there's an inventory there, then I can have an output. Uh, but I have no idea how these objects work, so we're gonna we're gonna hope that this is actually just gonna work first try. Uh, hmm. Hmm. And then if I choose a different one. <laughs> wow. Now how do I get that over there? What? Okay. Here I'm experimenting with honey and slime and trying to get them to wrap around to power the redstone lamps. Right, so it's stuck. Whoops. That one's stuck too. Whoops. That one's stuck three. Whoops. You're right. Uh, let's say I want this one. All right, and then I want this one here. And then I want this one here. All right. Oh, is that even is that even usable? <laughs> what? What? Uh. What? Oh. Uh, Whoops. Remove yourself. And then if I do this, bing, 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 bing. Oh my god, they don't do anything. Oh, I can just do it again. Why are you on? What? This? Fine. Oh, but then it sticks. 
Oh, but then it sticks. So we're sliding in a different direction now. Now they're all on. One of these is too tall. It's this one. Uh, reset. Reset, reset. Alright, oh, and then if we click the same one twice. No! It takes me a really long time to resolve the lamp issue. Why did it work last time? One, two, wait a minute. Could I just... So then I do need this. And then the face to go down. Bounce. Boing, 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 boing. Okay. Anyway, look. Maybe I should just notate, not notate, but talk about what I'm trying to do here. These are like all the possible whatever whodiver, and I say this one's on. So I can't just power them on. I have to power just all of these. Retract all of these. Then power all of them. And then power the new one. Could that work? That's kind of cool. Let's do the comparative thing again. What if I detect these, right? Invert them, I think. Yes. And then a piston, right? And the piston holds. Wait. No. Here. <laughs> I mean, it's neat. I think it's kind of cool. Why is it not? I thought. Okay, sure. Okay, I think I want to try something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuild it. On the new setup, I have trouble with the composters resetting uh, because of a, a self-made issue. Check that out. But this is. Why are you? Is that a repeater? Oh. There. What? Stop doing that. Wow. Of course, it doesn't even do what it's supposed to do yet. It just. I just. Whoop. Does this even work anymore? No. Yes. Okay. They're gonna be like they're gonna be like you're you're impressed over your T flip flop and I'm gonna be like, Yes! Yes, this is awesome. Bam. Right. Um Huh. Wait, why on earth are you up? I don't... What? Is that a bug? Oh, not a bug. I just... Why did I put them there?
I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Circles! Awesome. Say so I want you to go shishomp. And I actually want you to come shishomp. So like... That one's extended, this one's retracted. Extend, retract. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's got all these on, and even though all of these tracks are selected, so you can't really use it right now. Like if I'm really trying to go here, it's going to go to the first one. These pistons should push these composters back down before this track is selected this track being number three so number three should be selected after these pistons push those down so you can't really break it good so when a cart comes through it always goes this way it's never going to get over here so it doesn't matter that this is powered it's never going to break so all of these these top rows so odd 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 power three but it doesn't matter. So I have it. So you click one, right? Obviously. Yeah. And it lights up. I'll explain everything if you want me to, like how it works in a moment. But you go up and it selects one and two and I'm on the correct line. This thing is awesome. You're too ahead of your time. There is no need for this right now. What? Me? Uh, we we yes, we do not need one of these right now. No, I I know, but I built it, and that um, is wicked. This is awesome. The the other one, the one online, like the one that most people use, is like half of this size. Are you looking for a solution to the thing you just said was going to be a problem? Yeah. Yeah. This this sucks. I hate this. This. Th Fifteen, fifteen, because it's because it's being powered. But that's fifteen, and this is one. So you should not be well unless I do that. Fourteen. Okay. Um, I could use lecterns. Now, is there a way to detect if I ever have zero power? Well, I could do this. Oh, but it powers the pistons. And if I do any of the other ones, there's no power because they're all powered because there's no... Uh, there's no power here causing the 1 minus 1 operation to be 0, meaning that none of these torches turn off. I explained that really poorly, so I'm going to try again. The lectern is always giving the comparator a signal of one, and the only time that the comparator will output a value of zero is when that track specifically is selected. When the lectern is giving the comparator signal of one from the back, and the track selector is giving the comparator signal of one from the side, the signal outputting will be zero, and the redstone torch will turn on, telling the system to navigate the minecart to the top portion of the track. There's no torch, but it gets plugged into the side. Wait, there's only there's only two that are in subtract mode. Okay, 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 okay. And then this one, we have an output. This one, we have an output. If it's any of the odd ones, no output. Oh my god. Okay. So I don't want to just keep showing me building the redstone because that's not very productive. This is probably the smallest design. I would say even the cheapest. 
and it does everything that I built it for. The main reason I wanted to design my own track sorter was because designs I see online are spaced one block apart, and I wanted all of my button choices to be right next to each other. This particular design was built second and was meant to be a proof of concept for the system behind, but it ended up being the choice for track sorter if I needed 15 tracks in my world, this is what I would build. Because it has the same functionality as both of the other sorters while having a smaller footprint overall. Of the three, this is the first functioning complete station. He is beefy and I would not build him ever again, but he laid the groundwork for the concepts that I used in the later designs and I would not have been able to do that without first testing on this design. Similar to the last one, I would also probably never build this design again. It is uh, beefier, it is more expensive, and it's, I don't know, it's more complicated than it needs to be. That being said, all of these designs are more complicated because, than they need to be because I don't know how redstone works. I'm This is my first time using redstone, truly trying to make something that works. So there's designs out there that use a sixth of the materials that I use because I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, but if someone asks me, like, oh, what's something you've designed? I'm going to show them this because I'm really proud of it. Um, and it is the first, like, real improvement that I've made to something else. Like, I, like this is the Mark II station, whereas this is the Mark I station. And here are all three side by side. After messing around with lecterns in the second iteration, I realized that it would be possible to make a station where you could stay within your minecart by selecting the station within the lectern. I was unable to make a design that, that would interface with 15 stations, uh, but I think there's a way to do it. I Actually, you can see it on the left side of the screen. Uh, that was my attempt, and I'm still, I'll still try to figure it out, but I got bored, and I already had three complete designs. But clearly these are the cheapest, so if you only need seven stations, or if you're just going to have two stations, build this one, because it's like seven repeaters, seven redstone torches, uh, 15 dust, a lectern, a book, and a comparator. That's like the whole thing. This one is a bit more of a novelty item that I just wanted to build, I guess, for funsies. All it is is splitting from one track to two tracks. I was just happy to get it so small. I guess a possible use case would be if you don't need a station, you just like, you you go from your central station north, and you're going north thousands of blocks. And at the end of this north line, 500 blocks to your west, you have one farm, and 500 blocks to your east, you have another farm. This would be useful if you don't need a whole station so that you can stay in your minecart and really quickly choose to go to the left or to the right. 